Live from Charlotte, this is WBTV News on your side. Well, it's been a long week in our city. We know you guys feel that. We certainly do. What happened Tuesday at UNC Charlotte ended two lives and changed thousands more. And while there are things we would all like to forget, there are many things worth remembering. The heroes, our community's collective strength, and the memories of Riley and Reed. I would like to send a huge thank you to UNC Charlotte Police and Public Safety, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, and other officials for their efforts over the past 24 hours. As a collective, we are Niner Nation, and we are Charlotte Strong. Social media right after everything happened was really supportive. It was a way for people to really put their sympathy into something. And a lot of people all doing it was really impactful. I got a lot of people who like I didn't even like talk to often, like reach out and be like, hey, I'm here for you if you want to talk, like from my school. And there was like a few people in particular who it actually like meant a lot that they reached out. Not every incident is like fully recapped, but to have someone like be heroic in that moment was really shocking because like it's such a scary thing to have happen. I don't even know the guy's name that came in and did all that. I know Riley's name. That is what blew up. Like that is what social media took the story of. And to me that was like, I really liked that being the narrative. That summer, there was like a mass shooting and it was like, you would just see it on Twitter, like, oh my God, another one, another one, another one, like every single state, like all the time. And that got really old <laughs> to just like be using it as almost like, like using like Twitter for like a distraction or like Instagram as a distraction. And you'd see someone like pouring their heart out about how angry they are. And it's like, I am angry too, but it, it was almost too much to take in, like seeing everyone's anger and sadness. So I definitely had to stop using social media over summer. I'm now back on like Twitter and Instagram and like stuff like that. Anything upsetting is almost a little bit more upsetting now. And so I definitely have to be mindful like when I'm going on social media, like it's not always a distraction. Some part of it is like being connected and like having to like feel empathy. Like it's just kind of part of it now. At the beginning of the semester, and especially initially right after, there was a larger police force because they were worried about like um, copycats and stuff like that. There is definitely, I see more patrols of campus police coming around. And of course they hired um, that one dude who was the director of Guantanamo Bay. I think that was more of a knee-jerk reaction. I think it was important not to have too many changes because then that would just be as a, like a reminder of like what happened. Professionally, I mean, I was very sad that it happened this close to home. It made it very hard, but I felt like uh, UNCC police had a great response. They were ready for that type of situation, and I think preparedness is the key. Those kind of situations are hard to prevent because we don't know when they're going to happen or uh, where they're going to happen. We are the first to respond that we would call Charlotte Mecklenburg in to assist us like they did at the UNCC shooting. Uh, so we like to do joint training so we know what each other are doing and we're responding in the same way. We did go to their facility where they have buildings that you would go um, and do seminations of an active shooter and the response that the police would give. If you were here, then you received the text and uh, call and email for the Q alert. We automatically go on lockdown. Officers respond to the call and confirm if there is actual a threat or not. And then after that, uh, we would be either, if it is an actual threat, we would be handling it. Uh, we would send out more information to our campus telling everybody what they would need to do, whether they need to stay in place or evacuate a certain area. I think that for a situation like this, you should let like the authorities 
and like official responses be like um, the main focus, not just like some random person on Twitter talking about it. So one definitely strange thing I saw after it that was like really upsetting is I would just see kind of like ignorant tweets about um, like Riley and a couple other people who were in it. And it's like one was, oh, he just did self-defense. Like that doesn't make him a hero. And I was like, okay, but like straight up, he may have saved like my life or like other people's lives. Some people just like to put their opinion in as fact when it's like they may have not like seen it or like you know like really realize like the emotional like capacity that <clears throat> it has like almost taking away that title of someone as being a hero there is a lot of misinformation that can be thrown out there even after like once all the details come out people can just make like posts that have no truth in it i see social media as a good thing and a bad thing uh, because false information can get out and then it could be false information could get yeah. to family members that know that one of their loved ones is involved in this type of situation. But I think uh, we are doing a better job with social media now and with TV of uh, making sure when the wrong information is put out that we come back and make sure the right information is put out. I remember the moment um, earlier that day I had been sharing current students like graduation photos and like doing fun things like that and closer to the evening i'm on twitter i'm on my personal twitter account and i see that there's been a shooting so immediately um the communication team we stopped any and all internal messaging so nothing fun going out for students and we focused on how can we be of support for unc charlotte so my supervisor at the time um, crafted messaging, um, two messages in particular, and included the Charlotte Strong on Twitter. Um, and then for Instagram, we shared that same Charlotte Strong, and that ended up being our best post um, of all time. We used the hashtag Charlotte Strong, and I believe that when people click the hashtag, you know, they see all of the um, graph, that same graphic, and they're just, you know, liking and showing support that way. But it ended up being, like I said, our best post. Um, and then across all channels, we just shared the same messaging. And then the following day, again, stopping all internal messaging, we're focusing on UNC Charlotte right now. And it was kind of a weird space in a sense because you know, we're celebrating our 2018 graduates, but at the same time, another local university is hurting. So we had to be really careful about how we came across. When universities come together for a common good, you would think, you know, colleges and universities, um, they would, you know, not really support each other. We're kind of in competition. I don't believe that we're in competition in higher ed, but you know, that could be, what the public perceive. However, when you come together for, you know, something terrible as a school shooting, you know, it's support all around. Um, our students that may have not heard of the shooting, now they see it on our channel and they see it on so many other channels. So with the power of social media, you're able to just share messages so quickly. And I mean, I think it's always positive. I do see people say stuff like they're scared to go to school or um, they're like they miss someone who died and it's like there is a community of people who all know what happened and can directly contact you in almost like a second hand way. It's less personal but at the same time like anyone can. We as like Average citizens like can't do much to directly change laws. Simple posts are enough for you, you know. So it did feel like it felt like a lot of people cared. I think the more uh, we talk about it, the more we learn from it, and the more empowered we are to take charge and do something about this and put a stop to it.